Hey guys, Corey here with the scrapbook process video for you. This is the first one I've done in a really long time and I'm kind of testing the waters out to see how it goes to see if I start making them on a little bit more regular basis. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start with this one. I hope you enjoy. So I got this idea for this page um, when I saw this photo of my family sitting on our front porch and I immediately knew that I wanted to use this house paper. I was actually cleaning out some stash, which I don't have a lot of, but I ran across this um, paper while I was cleaning things out and it kind of stuck with me. So then when I saw this photo, I was like, oh, you know what? These little houses would be perfect for this page. So all I'm doing is I cut out seven of these little houses and um, that is gonna be kind of like the main embellishment on this page. So I lay out my little houses and then I add some foam adhesive to a couple of them because there's not really enough space. So I want to not only add some dimension, but also um, get it so that they can kind of overlap. Then I also knew I wanted to add color to this page. I tested out a bunch of different um, paints and things like that. I had some mermaid markers that I tried and then also some acrylic paints and none of it really came out the way I wanted to flow wise. So what I'm using here are Liquitex acrylic inks and it's really neat because they kind of go on like acrylic paint but they're super thin and really easy to spread. And I just love them. And the problem was is it took a little bit of time to dry because like ink y you can easily smear it so I did try using my heat gun um, and that got it to a certain point but I finally just had to kind of walk away from it and let it dry on its own so now I'm going to go ahead and try and embellish my photo without it actually being on my layout. I pulled out a bunch of different papers from my stash that were just in some of the same colors as were in the photo. So there's light blue, dark blue, there's red, the bench in the picture is red, but then also one of my girls is wearing kind of a magenta color. Um, so I tried to pull out those colors and just kind of layer them lightly behind, but it seemed to need something else. So I'm using some tracing paper here to just kind of uh, soften the edges just a little bit. I, I had trouble kind of getting the size right though and um, everything else. So you'll see me making a lot of adjustments to tracing paper, which is just kind of crazy, but finally got it. Then I went through this ephemera pack. Um, it's one of the pink paisley ones. I got it in one of the hip kits that I that were finished using for the design team. So I just went through that and I knew I wanted to use this frame. I had it in my head from when I first started thinking about this page. And so um, I'm trying to get that to work. You'll see later on, I actually eventually just take it off altogether because it really just didn't work. All the layers I had put behind my photo, you couldn't see because it was so big. And um, then it really just didn't work with the color of acrylic ink that I used on, uh, you know, on the background paper. So while I'm spending a lot of time making sure it all stays together, I do actually end up ripping it all off. So I'm finally back to my background paper and it still wasn't all the way dry. There were still drops that were, um, just still just not <laughs> really finishing drying up. So I was real gentle about putting my photo down. And then once I had it down, I realized that the gray in the center just really wasn't big enough. So I went back with my brush and the inks and the brush was a little bit damp. And so it was really neat because it actually picked up some of those colors that weren't all the way set. And then as I kept going, I realized that there was more that it just kind of pulled out. So just using water on the brush, I just kind of go over it and spread the color out just a little bit more. It makes it a little bit watery and, and that's really, I think it just made it look really beautiful. These acrylic inks are really cool because when they're not set, they kind of spread more with water just like watercolors would, but then once they are dry, they are permanent. So. So I'm still trying to work with this frame. I used small little pop dots all around so that my photo didn't lay so flat on, on the back of it, on all those embellishments, but eventually the frame just had to go. 
So later that day, I've got this, and I'm going to start. My background paper is completely dry, and I can go ahead and start embellishing my page. The first thing that I wanted to make sure to do was to get the little houses and my photo down on the page so that they wouldn't move and I could embellish all the way around. So I'm just gluing all these things down. I do use hot glue. I used to use hot glue. I still use hot glue. I like how it sets really fast and I don't have to worry about things moving around. I don't know if it's archival safe or acid free or anything else. I'm not really sure but you know I kind of figure my kids are not necessarily going to want all of these pages anyhow so oh well. So I'm adding some stickers just here and there. These are from old old packs years ago but they're still good and what I did was I actually peeled off a bunch of stickers and I put them on just regular paper and then I'm cutting out the paper. I did that because I didn't necessarily want the stickers to stick all the way down. Um, once, once I was using them as an embellishment. I kind of wanted to be able to curl them a little bit so that they had a little bit of dimension and I found that just sticking them on paper and then cutting it out around the paper works really great. Now the stickers were really old so the adhesive wasn't very good anymore anyhow so I was actually able to uh, peel them off the paper then and put them and use them as a sticker. I think I did have to add some hot glue just to make sure. The next day I came back to finish this page and what I did was cut out the word love from another sheet of pattern paper and use pop dots to go ahead and get that down on the page. And then I'm going to add my title. I love this font. It comes, it's a hip kit exclusive. Uh, I don't remember what month kit it came with, but I know we've used that font before. Um, but I just absolutely love it. I just think the script is great and so I'm gonna go ahead and use that for my title or at least part of my title how I usually get my title down is I put it on this little ruler and then I can put the letters on the ruler and then I can get it to where I want and just kind of easily peel it off uh, these letters were so small that I had to kind of move them individually instead but then to make sure it's all on there really well I always stitch down my titles or adhere them extra because I hate going in and seeing a page protector with a bunch of little letters floating around on the bottom of course now right now I don't have any page protectors but some point again I will and I, I don't like to see my titles down on the bottom of the of the bag so I'm just going to keep embellishing with a few things here and there. These are some exclusive buttons from hip from one of the old hip kits. Um, I'm just trying to keep with the color scheme of blue and then I've also got some black in there. And then my date stamp. This is the date that we were all home. It was June 30th. The whole page is about how this June 30th was the day that the whole family was back together. My oldest had been gone for a month um, to Guatemala on a mission trip and my younger two had been at camp for a week and we all convened on the exact same day back at the exact same spot. So we're all sitting on the front porch and it was really great just to see the girls all together and kind of picking up back where they had left off a month prior. And even though my oldest is away at college, the month in Guatemala was definitely different because we didn't really get to talk to her because uh, she was so far away and it was, you know, it was, she didn't really have a lot of cell coverage or anything else where she was. So I'm just looking for embellishments here and there. In all fairness, I love embellishments so much that sometimes I have a hard time knowing when I just need to stop. Um, so I'm always kind of looking for one more thing. What's one more thing that I can use? So um, what you saw just real quick was my box of stuff. That was my entire stash is in that one box. And uh, I'm trying to keep it really low and actually just use what I've got. So just adding a few more things here and there before I finally just finish up. I'm adding this little this little banner thing which you'll see in the final product that I actually end up move. I cut it in half and, and kind of split it because it looked better and then some journaling about the day. 
So that's it, guys. That's my page, um, Everyone's Home. That's what it's called. Here's some details. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me any questions that you have, and I hope the videos get better and better. So um, thanks for bearing with me on this on this trial, and I hope to see you again soon.